Thank you so much for joining me today on Just Praise Him Radio. I'm your host, Linda Lomax, and my job is to inspire you to a closer walk with Christ. Now here's the show. Hello, believers. Welcome to the Just Praise Him radio program. I'm your host, Linda Lomax, and the title of my message today is Battle Strategies to Use Against Jezebel. Today, I'm going to teach you a little more about that horrible old hag Jezebel. The things I'm about to teach you are things I've learned over many years of encounter after encounter after encounter with this demon and its methods. Today, I'm going to endeavor to teach you specific scriptures and prayers to counteract the next Jezebel attack you suffer. May you attain complete victory in your battles against that vile demon. I love what Nancy Gordon wrote about this spirit. She said, Jezebel is a spirit, but it finds access through uncrucified flesh. Jezebel was a Phoenician princess who married Ahab and became his queen. She sought to kill all the prophets of God and manipulated, lied, and killed to get her way. I will be calling this spirit a she since it most often infects females, but I have also encountered it in males on at least four occasions that come immediately to mind. I know there were more. I have worked for at least three of them. The demon itself is without gender. It is neither male nor female. It is just evil. The Jezebel spirit is a spirit that commonly shows up in a church anytime there's real prophecy, anytime there is real preaching of the true word of God, if there's real worship or revival. This spirit quenches revival fire very quickly. In fact, because it always brings strife, it quenches the Holy Spirit, period. She will also do whatever she can to draw the attention during worship to herself as she was a queen when she walked the earth. This is not one of the smaller demons, but a higher ranking one that you have to wrestle with in warfare. In my experience, it requires warring against daily and heavily, intensely, to make progress against it, but it can be done. Every warfare session weakens her and weakens her hold. I developed an easy test you can do if you want to find out if somebody has a Jezebel spirit, and it works 100% of the time in my experience. Wait till she wants something that's important to her, then tell her no. If Jezebel is there, she will flip out on you and start attacking. Because you broke the silent rule of you are not allowed to tell her no about anything. Jezebel will always expose herself with this test. So let's talk about her personality. We've talked about it before. We're going to talk about it some more. Argumentative. Very argumentative. Constantly wants to argue with people and actually is not happy if no one will fight with her. Arrogant. Thinks that she is above God's punishments or judgments. This is part of the pride she is under. Attention-seeking. Always wants the spotlight on her. Bully. She is a demanding bully. Cheater. She's a cheater. If married, she is often involved in extramarital affairs. And of course, if it's a male, he also is. Confusion. Because this is a witchcraft spirit, a cloud of confusion surrounds her that will sometimes bring confusion on your mind or the minds of those she is nearest to. She will also use confusion in the way she speaks in order to keep you wondering what it is she's trying to say. Or she will talk and talk and talk and talk. I knew someone that used that and even told me they used that as a tactic. This helps the demon stay hidden. She is a cursor. She likes to curse others using her words and does it knowingly, not realizing the same curses fall on her own life. Demeaning. She's always putting her victims down in an attempt to make them feel like nothing. She does not care about them, but will use them to her own ends. The sooner you realize you do not matter to a Jezebel, the better it will be for you if you're going to be in relationship with one for any length of time. 
denial. She will never, ever admit she is wrong or that anything is wrong with her, ever. You are the problem, not her. This never changes regardless of how much evidence you are able to produce. If she ever did accept fault, it would be because of something you did, just so you know that. But she never will. Disloyal. No loyalty. She does not even know the meaning of the word. Division bringer. This spirit brings division to churches probably more than any other. She will split a church right down the middle and shut down any move of God's spirit that is currently in place. She is fake. Jezebels can often be seen turning on the fake tears and trying to get what she wants by making people feel sorry for her. She's the victim, you know. She is a false flatterer. I like Word Hippo's definition of a false flatterer. Excessive praise or approval, which is often insincere and sometimes contrived to win favor. Gaslighting will attempt to make you think you're crazy or make others think you're crazy once she sees you are on to her game. Because she has to discredit you. Gossiper. Loves to spread strife all around by turning numerous people against numerous other people. This is when she is happiest. Hard-hearted. Does not care at all about anyone else's feelings or life. What her goals cost them is totally irrelevant to her. Hateful. Was a murderer in life, so has a lot of hate and bitterness, though she denies it. Heartless. Has no heart for anyone. Jezebel is known to hate not only men, but her own children. And you will see her treat her own children with great disregard. Immoral. No morals. So no deed is too low for her to stoop to get her way. Infighting. Loves to get infighting started, bringing strife, gossip, and division to rearrange everyone and everything the way she wants it. Especially in churches. Delights in starting strife and loves that she gets attention and new friendships from it. Jealous. Very jealous of other women or men if it's on a man. Know it all. Thinks she knows everything. Liar. She is a liar. I cannot emphasize this enough. Lies, lies, and some more lies. Manipulative, super manipulative, always lying and trying to manipulate people and circumstances to get her way. Murderous, has a murderous spirit. She would love to see you dead, especially if you're in her way or she no longer needs you. Prideful, this spirit thinks very highly of itself, far higher than it should. She is a narcissist, even when it is clear she has nothing to be conceited about. She is delusional and thinks she is still a queen. Projects. This spirit constantly projects her faults onto others, accusing them of doing what she is clearly guilty of. Revealing. You can sometimes see Jezebel is present in a photo of a person if they're looking directly into the camera. Look at the eyes. The other revealing Jezebels do is about you. They will gather all the intel on you they can while they are close to you and save it up and use it to make up slander about you when they turn on you, although much of their slander is just off the cuff, made up lies. And they get pretty good at that. Seductive, if she is attractive, will use seduction to get what she wants. Even when old, this spirit makes them think they still got it going on. Spirituality is fake can act and sound very spiritual and godly, but all her behavior shows she is working for the devil. As the Bible says, we will know them by their fruits, Matthew seven fifteen to 20. If the fruit is rotten, the tree is too. Strife. Loves strife. This demon is probably the number one strife bringer in churches. One day the church is peaceful and everybody gets along. Then Jezebel shows up and there's infighting and strife and people start leaving the church and friendships break up and it's just a big mess. Strife bringer, confrontational, loves to get attention through confronting people who don't do her bidding. Torturer, 
Jezebel loves to cause pain to others, especially men that she's involved with. And she has even been known to seduce other men right in front of the one she is with. She enjoys torturing others and watching them hurt, especially men and her children. Untrustworthy. Do not trust the Jezebel, not even as far as you can spit, ever. They are about as safe as a coiled rattlesnake. They are entirely untrustworthy. They have no honor and no integrity whatsoever. User. People are just to be used in her book. One of her favorite schemes is to move in with someone and let them do all the cooking and cleaning and bill paying. Meanwhile, she acts like she don't have any money and goes out and spends hers or saves it for later. She's always disappointed when this gravy train stops and she has to pay her own bills again. Now, if family does this, well, their family, we love them. I'm talking here about non-family people. Veld. This is why you never see who they really are until it's too late. Jezebel or a veil. The veil hides her fangs. Vengeful. Jezebel never forgets a wrong. Forty years later, she is still seeking revenge. War lover. She loves to start a war with you or between other people. She is wicked. No low is too low for this demon. She will never accept blame, but she will always take the credit. And one last thing, she withholds vital information. This is a form of control that Jezebels really enjoy. They love having something you want or need and being able to torture you by withholding it. And that is whether it is information or if they're the parent of a child and you want to see that child or something like that. Same thing. Jezebel cannot take any form of criticism. She cannot take someone else getting all the attention. She cannot take someone else having the money and the power. She cannot take failure. And most of all, she cannot take exposure of what she really is. When she infiltrates a church, she tries very hard to get the worship and attention off of Jesus and onto herself. She has a myriad of ways to do this and sometimes does it right down front of the congregation. Jezebel will always try to turn the people on one side of the church against the people on the other side of the church, so to speak, on other sides, but turn some of the people in the church against other people. If you get into a fight with the Jezebel, and you're winning, she will start mocking you because Je Jezebel always runs with the mocking spirit. She always favors whoever is currently saying yes to her in doing her bidding until they don't. You will sometimes see a Jezebel in a position of power in a church, and when you do, they exercise a very warped type of authority. Jezebel hates true prophecy. She hates true spiritual warfare. She hates prayer, especially intercession, and she hates unity. She is after infiltration, to infiltrate a group, to find out information and turn people against each other. She is after control, wealth, and power, and she is after the total destruction of every person who will not do what she wants. What's in her toolbox? her fake Christian act, including fake praise and worship, her pretend friend act. She is a very practiced liar. She is a bully. The degradation, put downs for people, that's in her toolbox. She will fluctuate between degrading and insulting you when she is not getting your way, her way, or she will mock you and then she'll flip over and try to sweet talk you. She will try one method after another until something works or until it wears you down and you say yes to whatever she is currently after. That is a known Jezebel technique. Undermining is in her toolbox. She works behind the scenes to slander and discredit anyone who will not do what she wants. Demeaning and demanding are in her toolbox. She demands you do this or that. Or, or else you're not a good man. You're not a good husband, provider, pastor, friend, or Christian. Take your pick. 
false prophecies and visions are in her toolbox. The other thing in her toolbox is the element of surprise. When her mask comes off, the gloves come off with it, by the way. How she spins the web of deceit to catch you. Number one, she will often appear as someone you should feel sorry for, that you feel the need to help. Number two, she will often appear as someone who needs help of some kind. In this way, your guard is down. You never know an attack is coming until it hits. The last time I got attacked by Jezebel, that's how it happened. I was helping someone and I never saw it coming. Number three, she sounds very spiritual and gives the impression of someone truly seeking God and trying to serve God, but she isn't. Number four, she will look for someone she perceives as powerful and try to get close to them in an attempt to gain power or a voice in how things are run, especially in a church setting. Number five, will often claim to have been abused, when in truth you will later discover she was the abuser. Blindside attacks. While Jezebel herself hates to be blindsided, she frequently uses the element of surprise to her advantage. She all, you know, it's part of her double standard. She is a serious, serious double standard. It's one set of rules for you. It's a different one for her. That's every single Jezebel I've ever known, male or female. Since she was veiled the whole time you thought she was your friend, you never saw the attack coming. At first, it leaves you reeling. One minute, she's your best friend, and the next minute, she turns into your worst enemy. And it quickly becomes obvious she planned it. And as we say in Texas, this ain't her first rodeo. You were invested in the relationship, but she was only invested in extracting from it whatever she could get. She is a user, and she goes from one person to the next using them. This is classic Jezebel behavior. She pretends to be your friend and then slanders you with complete lies she fabricates along the way when she moves on to the next, quote, friend. This is an attempt to discredit you so others won't believe you if you try to tell them about her. She will do it to them when she jumps from them to the next friend. She is known for screaming and cursing like a sailor. This is no lady you are dealing with. She is a bully. She will gaslight you. Try to make you, oh, there's something wrong with you. It isn't her. You've, you've got that wrong. She is famous for getting into other people's pockets to get them to pay for stuff, even though they have money. This is classic Jezebel behavior, too. I knew someone once that made in the high six figures and did that. And I was like, are you kidding me? They weren't kidding. This spirit will always bring division. Always. That what she is after is position, power, and money, or people who will pay their bills and do everything for them. That's what they're that's what Jezebel's looking for. Okay. She is very confrontational. She loves arguing and fighting with people and actually gets bored if she can't. She turns everyone against everybody else, which allows her to play the victim and be in the spotlight. Okay, let's talk about specific elements of her attacks and how you can do some things to counterattack. Okay, first of all, Jezebel is abusive, okay? There are four steps every abuser goes through when grooming their victims, and Jezebel's are no different. This is how Jezebel's groom long-term victims such as spouses, children, employees, etc. Number one, they rip apart any self-esteem you ever had. This makes you easier to manipulate and control. Number two, they relieve you of any money or assets you have or they will make you have to spend it by withholding finances. This is to make it harder for you to leave them. If you don't have any money, how are you going to leave? Number three, they isolate you from any friends or family you have, and you are not allowed any new friends. This is because other people will immediately recognize they are abusing you. Jezebel's game is all under the table. She loses her power when you expose her. Number four, 
then they abuse you any way they want to when they when you have no self-esteem, no money, no assets, and nobody to help you. Countering the attacks. Number one, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rip the veil off Jezebel right now, and I stomp it under my feet, and I kick it off into the fiery abyss, and I command it to stay off. And in Jesus' name, I command Jezebel to manifest in front of the people who can and will do something about her and get her out of my church in Jesus' name or out of your workplace or wherever. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against me I shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and my righteousness is of him. That's Isaiah 54, 17. Confess this out loud throughout each day. This verse will cause her cruel words and slander to fall helplessly to the ground and accomplish nothing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command every negative word and every slander spoken against me by, insert the name of the person, to fall to the ground and become as naught right now. Pray this at least once a day, preferably several times. Has some same effect as above. Thank you, Lord, for hiding me in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thank you for keeping me secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. This is Psalm 31.20. Pray it at least three times a day out loud. Thank you, Lord, for opening the eyes and ears of other listeners to the fact that the slanders being spoken against me are lies. Help them not to get caught in the web of Jezebel's deceit. Pray this throughout the day. In the mighty name of my Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I cancel every attack and satanic assignment involving a Jezebel spirit and command them to fall to the ground and become as naught. I chain together every demon assigned hereunder, and I send you demons to the abyss right now in Jesus' name, and I command you to wait there for the judgment of Almighty God. Go now. In the mighty name of my Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I send the hounds of hell after the Jezebel spirit that has been attacking me through, insert the name of the person. I command you hounds to pursue her and give her no rest at all. I command you to chase her, bite her, and attack her endlessly throughout hell until the judgment day of the Most High God. Give her no rest, just as she has given her victims no rest. Every time you pray that, it weakens her. In the mighty name of my Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command all the demonic entourage surrounding the Jezebel spirit attacking me through, insert the person, to push Jezebel out the window and into the streets of hell below. Jezebel, I command you in the mighty name of my Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to lie in the streets of hell while all the other demons mock you and laugh at you as they go by. I command you must stay there and await the judgment of the Most High God. Every time you pray that, it weakens her. Lord, your word says in James 3.16 that where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. So I know the person who has started strife with me is suffering confusion in every, every evil work now due to their sin in this. I pray, Lord, you would use this to help them desire to and learn to become actual Christians, not fake ones. I pray, Lord, that you will refine what needs to be refined in them and help them become nicer people and get free of Jezebel forever. In your precious name, I pray this. Amen. I hope this has been a help to you. I'm going to put these prayers in a document that will be posted on the innocenceredeem.blog website, which is Ray Bergman's website. He offered to host it for me. My, my blog site, my website does not host PDFs at this time. So he offered to host it. Uh, we'll host it over there, and y'all can go there and get it if you want, innocenceredeem.blog. I hope this helps you, and I hope that you win all your battles against that vile spirit of Jezebel. Jesus bless you. Thanks for listening. Y'all have a great week. Thank you so much for tuning in today to Just Praise Him Radio. You can contact me by mail at my new address, JPH Inc., Glenda Lomax, P.O. Box 60, Glencoe, Arkansas, 72539, or by email at jphtoday at gmail.com. 
JPH is not affiliated with any nonprofit organization, church, or denomination. Are there areas of sin in your life you just can't seem to overcome no matter how hard you try? Many people live their whole lives under curses. Without understanding, they can be free. Learn what the scriptures say about curses and why they are still relevant today. Hosea 4.6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Learn how to defeat every curse through the power of the cross of Jesus Christ. If you have the knowledge, you can break curses off your life and start experiencing breakthroughs like never before. In the book Loosed from Chains of Darkness, you will learn the basics of four different types of curses. Loosed from Chains of Darkness is the most comprehensive curse-breaking book on the market today. Get your copy of Loosed from Chains of Darkness by Glinda Lomax, available on Amazon.com in print, Kindle, and audiobook versions. Do you know someone suffering from domestic violence or another form of abuse like verbal abuse? Did you know abuse has deep spiritual roots that cause abuse to be attracted to a person throughout their lifetime? Now, the Escaping Abuse Study Guide helps you discover and remove those spiritual roots so you won't be an abuse magnet. Get the Escaping Abuse Study Guide or get one for a friend. Available now on Amazon.com. Escaping Abuse Study Guide by Glenda Lomax. Available now on Amazon.com.